Bolt missing out of there. Was the rear end making any noise? It sounded like it was coming from the rear end. Yep, busted the tail end off of it. Of what? The transfer case. split the whole side of the case. I can't rebuild this one. We're going to have to put another one in it. All the way up and through there. All the way around there. Oh, that's why that bolt fell out. Right there. Well, shit. I'm going to have to pull the drive shaft both front drive shafts possibly the exhaust which that would suck probably that lower frame unit well all right well, let's get out from under here What the hell did you do? It's interview time. Was you four wheeling? Yeah. Told you not to go without me. <laughs> Last time I seen a transfer case break like that was in my Dodge. Yeah? Yeah, I was in 36 inches of mud. I wasn't in mud. Hmm. What are we going to do now? I don't know. Put a new transfer case in, though. Well, what would you do? Junk it? No. You actually thought about that? No. $10,000 car you want to junk for $300? No. And I can get a transfer case for 135 bucks, so you know it's up to you, right? Smile. I mean, it's done, it's over with. I made a loud bang, I'll tell okay, you. Okay, yeah, well, I'll show you in the video why it did that. Okay. But see, guys, when stuff like this happens, you can sit and be mad and upset and everything like she is. When at the end of the day and tomorrow morning, it's still going to be sitting here on this jack stand. Or you can just say, well, it's something that needs to be done, right? Yeah. It needs to be done. So, do you know a good mechanic that can do that? Mm, you. 
Me? I've never changed a transfer case in one of these before. Make good video. Yep. Sure will. All right, guys. Well, you know, there it is. Quick update for you. Great. All right, I gotta close the garage. Thanks for watching, guys. Monk. Yep. What? Bye. Bye. <coughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye, bye. Take care.